Hello, hello, people. Are you there? Hello, teacher. Good night. Good evening. Sorry. Yeah, good evening. Okay. Where's everyone? Miguel, Saida, Patricia. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. Hey, la luz. <laughs> ah, good, good. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, tonight is our last night for this module and I think for the year. Okay, so we're going to work and finish pre-intermediate one. <clears throat> Let me start sharing the screen. Okay. Look at the picture, please. Let's get started with the picture. And tell me, what do you see in in the picture? and a girl a man and a girl uh-huh where do you think maybe they are they are friends maybe they are friends uh-huh where are they in a restaurant or a cafeteria yeah, a cafeteria or a coffee shop, a cafe. Okay, very good. And what are they doing? Mm, they are talking about her, mm -hmm. her family and his family. Okay, they are talking, they are drinking coffee. Mm -hmm. Uh, do they look angry, sad, happy? They seem happy. Okay, they seem to be happy. Mm -hmm. And what is the man wearing? Uh, he is green uh, wine. Wine suit, I don't know where is its color. Mm -hmm. Morado, how do you say morado? Purple. Okay. A purple suit. suit. What else? A white shirt. A white shirt. Good. And the girl? The girl is wearing a blue jeans or blue pants mm -hmm. and a blue like blues. Okay. Very good. Very good. Is wearing a high heels. I think She's... I can't. I can't see good. Mm -hmm. I can see well. Maybe high heels. 
Okay. Very good. Let's hear the conversation to see what they are talking about. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna mute your microphones to avoid any noise. One more time. One more time. Okay, very good. Let's see the conversation here. Okay, let's practice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with Saida's microphone? I don't know. Okay, let's practice. Listen and repeat, please, uh, to practice this conversation. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? How many brothers? Actually, I'm an only child. Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Really? Yeah, most families in China have only one child nowadays. Yeah, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. I come from, I come from a big family. I have three, brother three brothers and two, and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Wow, wow. is that I typical, in, typical Peru? in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days, but Not big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. <laughs> Not really. Not really. A lot of families, lot of families, are, families smaller are smaller these days, day. but big families, families are great, are great because, because you get, you get love of birth and presents. Okay, very good. Now I am Marcos and you are May Lee. Okay? okay. Let's practice one more time. How many brothers and sisters do you have, May Lee? 
Actually, I'm, I'm an only, only child. Really? Yeah. Only one child. Only one child. Nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcus? Marcus? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. wow. Um, Is that typical like, in, in Peru? Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. But big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. Okay. Now you are Marcos and I am May Lee. You begin one, two, three. Wow. My brother and sister, you have Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Really? Yeah, most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know. What about you, Marcos? I am come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are small. They are great. are Because you get lots of people present. No, really. A lot of present. Okay, very good. Uh, what is the meaning of an only child? Hijo único. Hijo único. Okay. An only child. Uh, are, are you an only child? Is any of you an only child? No, I'm not. Yes. Yeah, who say yes? Who say yes? Patricia. Oh, Patricia is an only child. I am an only child too. Okay. Now, what is... Nowadays. Hoy en día, ¿verdad? En estos días. Mm -hmm. Hoy en día. En estos días. Oh, Orlando says that he is an only child too. Good. We are selfish people. <laughs> okay. Uh, what else? A big family, three brothers and two sisters, typical. What is birthday presents? Regalos de cumpleaños. Okay, yes, regalos de cumpleaños. Very good. Now, pay attention to these expressions. Many brothers and sisters. Many, many brothers and sisters, okay? Uh, most families in China, most families in China, um, a lot of families are smaller, a lot of families are smaller. Big family. Mm -hmm. Lots of birthday presents. Lots of birthday presents. Okay. So these words are what we call quantifiers. Uh-huh. Quantifiers. So a lot, many, most, lots of. So we are going to study this later, but... They are in this conversation, so you can see how they use quantifiers, okay? Most, a lot of, lots of, okay? 
So we are going to study this later. Now, I want you to practice the conversation in pairs, okay? So I'm gonna put you in pairs to practice the conversation for a moment. Ten participants, five groups. Ready? Join the groups and practice the conversation at least two times.
Okay, welcome back. Now, let's watch this video about the quantifiers. Quantifiers are words we use to express quantity. Quantifiers are these words we use to express quantity. Okay? Okay. Let's watch the video and then we're going to, to practice. Yeah, here we are. Okay, uh, I'll play one more time. We use the words like some, most, a few. Stay and learn more quantifiers and how to use them. Quantifiers. All families have only one child. Nearly all families have only one child. Most families have only Only one child. Many families are smaller these days. A lot of families are smaller these days. Some families are smaller these days. Not many couples have more than one child. A few couples have more than one child. Few couples have more than one child. No one gets married before the age of 18. Notice how these quantifiers have an estimated percentage. If you want to make reference to 100%, you may say all, and then you work down the scale depending on the percentage you want to refer to. 
Follow me in this example. Nearly all women work nowadays. Nearly all, quantifier. Women, plural noun. So in other words, all quantifiers come before plural nouns, except no one. No one gets married before the age of 18. No one, quantifier, gets the verb. As a tip, ask your teacher to remind you about count nouns so you are able to use these quantifiers. Type in two examples using any quantifier you want. Okay, okay. So this is what we saw in the video. So these quantifiers, okay? Look at the examples. So we, we say all families have only one child or nearly all families have only one child. Most families have only one child. Many families are smaller these days. A lot of families are smaller these days. Some families are smaller these days. Okay, but I want to show you um, this chart. So here you have um, more or less the percentage of uh, each quantifier represents. Okay. So all is 100%, all. Nearly all is like 90%. Most is between 70 and 80%. Many is between 60 and 70%. A lot of is like 50%. Some is like 40 or 30%. Not many is like 20 or 30%. Few, few is like 10 or 20%. No one is zero, okay? Zero. So using this, I would like you to work on this exercise, okay? You can use all, nearly all, most, many, a lot of, some, not many, a few, few, and no one to complete these statements, all right? Uh, and you have some percentage here, here to give you an idea. For example, the, the first one, uh, children are Hispanic, about 20%. Uh, if you say about, you could, you could use few or not many. Okay, so these are not exactly, okay, so yeah, I cannot tell you exactly, a few is 10%, so no, this is uh, on a, a approximate, okay, so it, it's not exactly, so we could use few or not many, yeah, for example, uh, Yeah, I, I know, I know, I know, wait. Okay, Give me, let me finish this and I, I will open your microphone. So we could use here, few or not many. Yeah, few or not many children are Hispanic. Few children are Hispanic, about 20%. Not many children are Hispanic, about 20%. Okay. Okay, let me open your microphones to hear your doubts. Okay, any question with this, people? Very good. So, 
So in this one, we said that we could use few or not many. Not many. Okay. What about this? What about number two? Children. Many. Uh-huh. Okay. Could be a lot of, or maybe more than a lot of. Many is, okay, a little bit better. Many children, age zero to 17, live with two married parents, like 67%. So I will give you time to complete this exercise. Yes. And then we are going to check together, okay? Okay. Okay, work.
Okay, did you finish? I'm sorry. <laughs> did you finish? <laughs> yes. Okay, number three is few. Number four, many. Many. Number five, most. Most. Number six, Few families have two or three children. Mm. Many. Huh? Or no? What? What, uh, what do you think? Nearly all. Nearly all. Okay. Nearly all. Near. Nearly all. Okay. Seven. Few. Few. Yes, few. Eight. Few. Few. Nine. No many. Not many. many. Ten. Most. Most. Most or nearly all? No, most. Most. Most is better. Eleven. Any. Many. Is there anyone else? Okay, good. Let's practice. Repeat after me to practice. Uh, few children are Hispanic, about 20%. Few children are Hispanic, about 20%. 20%. Many children aged 0 to 17 live with two married parents, 67 percent. Many children Few 12th grade students, about 13 percent, Smoke cigarettes regularly. Few children smoke cigarettes. Many women with children, about 63%, work a full time job. Many women, Many women about 33%. Most divorced people, approximately 80%, remarry. Most divorced people, 80% remarry. Nearly all families have two or three children. Nearly all families have two or three children. Few families have seven children. Few families have seven children. Few people in the world, less than 5%, get married before age 14. Few people in the world, less than 5%, get married before age 14. Not many school age children, about 20%, speak a language besides English at home. Many, Not many school Most young American adults, about 80%, graduate high school. 
Many Americans who finish high school go on to college or university, about 70%. Many Americans, many Americans who finish college are 70%. Okay, very good. So, in this um, lesson, we work on these uh, quantifiers. And we have been talking about family. So to have a short conversation about family, I I want to give you some questions here. Just let me um, change this to avoid that. No, 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 no. What did I do? Okay. Okay. Look at these questions. Um, well, I better put these questions on PowerPoint to Two to two um, to get an image for WhatsApp. Let give me a second. So I, I want you to practice with this with these questions. Okay, you have a conversation. You have you interact discussing these these questions about family. So working in, in pairs. Let me enlarge the letter. Okay. So look at these questions. What comes to mind when you hear the word family? How important is your family to you? How important are you to your family? Would you like or do you have your own family? Do you prefer spending time with your family or friends? Are there any strange people in your family? Are you jealous of any of your family members? Do you get on well with all of your family members? How often do you have big family get togethers or family big family reunions? How much of a family person are you? Understand the questions? Yes. Okay. So I will put these questions in, in the group. So I want you to, and I, I'll put you in pairs, and I will give you time to discuss, to, to talk, okay? Using okay. these questions to have a short conversation, okay? Okay. Let me put this in WhatsApp. You will have the questions there. Uh, mm, 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 this. And what happened? You copy this. Not here. Oh, 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 oh. Look at it. Copy. No me lo quiere pegar y será porque estamos.
no, ya sé, ya sé, ya sé, ya sé. Ya sé. Okay, there you go. Now let me form the groups. So let's make three groups.
Okay, people, welcome back. Very good. So with this, we finish this unit. We finish this module. Okay, so it's been a pleasure to be with you. Uh, I think this is the last module for this year. Okay, so uh, I want to wish you from now, no? Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. <laughs> okay. Teacher, teacher. Yes, I, yeah? teacher. I have a question, but I, I tell you in Spanish. Okay. Ahorita acabo de entender que es el último módulo de este año. Sí, eso eso creo. Porque no les han pedido papeles, ¿verdad? No. No, pero no. Uh -huh. Ya a estas alturas ya han entregado papeles de. Usted sí, ah, la ficha no, no ha jubilado. Eso llega por, eso llega por, por Hola. Correo, o, o nos van a escribir a, a WhatsApp o cómo. 
por lo, por lo general eh, te, eh, se contactan contigo por todos los medios. Te envían uh -huh. un correo, te envían un, un WhatsApp. Uh -huh. ah, okay. Sí, yo creo que el grupo se mantiene en el WhatsApp, ¿verdad? El grupo se mantiene abierto, entonces sí. ahí hay que estar pendientes. Sí, ah, ahí okay. Y usted nos uh -huh. va a dar, teacher, la otra unidad. Pues no sé, no me han dicho nada, ¿verdad? No lo vamos Eso. a todavía, ¿verdad? No. <risa> Estamos la barba me veo viejito, pero si me la quito. Se ve muy es strong. But it's strong still. Sí, yo me la dejo porque si me la quito me veo más joven que mi esposa, entonces no le gusta. Oh. <risa> <risa> me pasa lo mismo. Ya. <risa> yeah. Sí, sí, no, nos avisan uh, prácticamente unos días antes, ¿verdad? Con qué grupo sí, vamos sí. a trabajar. No, no. ¿Vayan también entonces para continuar la clase? Sí, claro, claro. ¿Hasta no, hacernos ¿verdad? full English? Hasta darle full English, ¿verdad? No hay problema. Es poco tiempo, la verdad. Sí, sí, aunque cuatro horas a la semana, pues es, es más o menos... Bueno, ¿verdad? Aparte de la plataforma que está ahí para que puedan practicar. Sí, prácticamente es como agarrar un curso eh, eh, intensivo, siento yo, porque una uh -huh. hora a la semana, de lunes a jueves, es, es, es como lo están dando. Sí, uh -huh. sí, sí, ¿verdad? Algo así. así es que... Nos desea feliz Navidad al teacher y práctica, yeah. práctica. Yes. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Practice. Okay. Yes. And we should practice this time. Yeah. Verdad, hay, hay mucho ahí. Ahí están todos los videos. En fin, pueden estar practicando. Ok. Es un buen material. Realmente el inglés es, es mucho de autodidacta, ¿verdad? De aprender por su cuenta muchas cosas. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Okay, people. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Bye, 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 everyone. Bye, bye, a todos. Bye. Bye, bye. bye everyone. <laughs> See you next year. See you next year. Yes. Next year.